Okay, so I'll be doing a tutorial over how to use Adobe Lightroom. Many of you probably have never heard of this program. It's a great program for uh, photo manipulation. Uh, basically, it gives you some of the stuff that Photoshop gives you for photo manipulation and removes the rest. So there's no painting over anything in particular, but like color calibration and whatnot works incredibly well in here, and it's a lot easier to deal with also. Um, Think of Lightroom as a dark room. So in photography, a dark room is where you produce your photos. Um, so essentially, if you have raw files, that'd be the best. Raw files are essentially uncompressed photo images that contain all the information that you have taken during that moment. Uh, unlike JPEGs, where there's a compressed version of the file already. Uh, I'll show you the differences between the two. Uh, I've already um, have several images set, so I'm gonna open tutorial image right here, and I, all I'm to bring your images in, make sure you're under library and just simply drag and drop your files in or your whole directory. I'll do it by directory, just drag it in. You should have a pop-up. Right here it says, do you want to add all these? I said sure, I'll import it. So there's several images I have and a lot of them I've found were either um, dark images or different colorful ones. These two, this flower and this flower one, uh, were not taken by me. These are found on Google. Uh, these right here though were taken by myself. All right. So I'm going to open uh, this little flower one. Have you noticed, even images online, if you happen to find them, they're a bit lower quality and so forth. But um, it looks a bit dim, and I wish I could change this so it's a bit brighter. So there are many different settings. On the right-hand side, you can see the quick, quick develop. It tells you the ISO and everything that it was taken at, and a lot of other settings. So there's always the white balance. White balance means um, a lot of times when you take a picture, the white isn't pure white, but it's a tinge of a certain color. So what it does is it takes the whites and makes it pure white. Uh, you can do an auto shot, where it just automatically calibrates it. Sometimes it dulls the image, and I don't like it too much. Sometimes you like that color temperature added into it. The other is auto tone. It'll automatically brighten the image to what it thinks it should be. You can either bring up the exposure by hand, simply by clicking these. Any of these right here equals to uh, one full uh, f-stop. Then there's clarity to make it sharper essentially and it's vibrance to make it a lot more vibrant in color or more dull. If you don't like clicking these buttons though, uh, I personally don't like them too much, so let's reset it. Under develop, this is where all of your awesome tools are. Um, click the little tab, come back out, here we go. And you have all your temperatures, tints, exposure, recovery, Fill light, blacks, brightness, contrast. A lot of different settings. For example, for this one, I can simply just click on the exposure, bring that up. And I want to bring some of my darks back. I click on the black and just pull that in slightly. And now I have a pretty bright image. You can change the color temperature from just being so yellow and bring back some of the color. But when I do that, it gets a bit desaturated. So you can compensate. Scroll down. And bring up your vibrance. Or you can bring up your saturation again. That way you can still retain how bright the original image was, but at the same time changing the whole temperature of the image. You can add a tinge to add a bit more color back, or take it away, but let's add some of the color back, and now we have an interesting background there. You can kind of see the ground now. You can see the leaves um, on here, and it all looks nice, all the petals and whatnot. Here we go. So, in a nutshell, that's essentially what this ha uh, top part does. There's a lot more other ones, but this image is, probably isn't the best to choose for that. So, I'm going to go back to the library, and I just double-click on, uh, on the side right here, and it'll take me back to um, my library area. I want to choose an image that's very dark. Let's say this one, for example. Here's an image I took uh, that... Um, the flash didn't go off and certain things didn't go off like I expected. And I was just testing the shot and seeing if my f-stop was low enough and apparently it wasn't. So, if you have a problem like this, it's really, really easy to fix. You can do an auto white balance real quick and see what happens. I feel it made the tinge a bit too much. So, I'll just take it back down a little bit. And I think that works. Maybe the tint, maybe too heavy. Uh, I think this works okay. Exposure. Click this and drag it up and voila, my image is brighter. So you can also take recovery. What recovery does is it takes some of the stuff if you've taken a picture and it's too bright, 
it'll take some of the uh, information back. So if we put ring recovery, you see how it, it darkens. Um, it brings some of the info that's getting blown out uh, all the way back. Backlighting, over here how it's all dark, and that's dark. You'll check out this fill light. It starts making those areas lighter. Don't bring it too much though, it starts adding a lot of noise to the image. It looks really bad. But it tries its best to bring it back. You know, bring back some of the blacks or just leave it that way. Brightness to contrast, just like in Photoshop, just simply brightens your image or darkens it. Contrast, you can see that already. This flattens out your color a lot. Some people are liking this feel a lot lately. Um, I guess it works okay. There's clarity, just makes your image more sharp, vibrance. Colors become, yeah, very vibrant on that aspect. Saturation, it sometimes blows up the image. They're very similar to these two aspects. Just you can play with them just right and you get something cool. Tone curve. Um, most of you might think of, remember this from Photoshop as the curves. You control each aspect of these. So with the darks, you can control how, when, when, some, when something goes dark or dark gray or light gray or white. Sometimes it's easier to control it this way, so you control exactly, if you notice right here in these images, all of these colors will be clamped down until where the curves are telling it to go. Um, same with the darks. These, this section right here are being controlled by this section of the curve. Then there's lights, and there's highlights, the really bright parts. Um, for this aspect, I'll show you a different image that probably works better. Um, that's why I loaded up this little flowery one. This flower one mainly because in here you might have seen several photographers take images and um, you'll notice that they can make certain colors go black and white and certain colors stay there. So up here we'll show you all the colors that you have. If I click on all, if I desaturate everything, then you can actually uh, play with each and every one of them, but I'm working with a much lower resolution right now, so I'll go color by color. Let's say I want to preserve my reds, and I make it more vibrant. So all my reds are going to be a bit more vibrant. And with reds, you can test out right here with orange now. If I bring this color down, you start noticing anything that has orange in it is becoming desaturated. But that's also taken down for some of the reds too, because a lot of red flowers have a tinge of orange in it. So I'll, kind of, I'll leave it there, slightly take it down. The yellows, I'll take that all the way down to black and white. All the greens, I'm taking that down to black and white. And all these, I'll just take all the saturation down, which forces it to become black and white. And there, you can basically desaturate specific colors inside an image if you wanted to. So this gives that interesting effect for you. Um, it probably works pretty well on uh, image Let's say which one would be interesting. Let's take this one for example. Let me fix it up real quick. Let's brighten up some of the images. Do an 